to my channel it's Lexi thank you for clicking on this video if you're new please subscribe down below I would really appreciate it today we are tie-dyeing three different t-shirts two short sleeves and a long sleeve all three Nike t-shirts there's a lot going on in the world right now and I'm just trying to take this time off from my job to do all of the things that I usually want to do on my days off but I'm too bored and too lazy to do because I have like other things that will take priority and one of those things is tie-dyeing t-shirts. I used to do it once in a while with my friends when I was a little younger, like my freshman year and stuff. And so it's something I wanted to do again because my other ones are getting kind of like dingy. It's been four or five years and so I finally did it. I've been wanting to do this four months, several months. And so I finally did it. I finally took the time to do this. It's very fun. It's pretty cheap. I got my kit on Amazon and I'll leave the link for that down below. I think it was like $14 or $15 for 15 colors. I did not use all 15, but it gives you a lot of options depending on what color combinations you like and like all of that jazz. A few of the things that you need to tie dye usually come in a kit if that's what you buy, like the dye itself and the bottles, gloves, rubber bands, and a little like plastic layered uh, sheet that tries to protect what your surface is from getting dye on it. The surface I used was an old shoe box because my surface wasn't flat. I did this outside in my backyard because it was a nice South Florida day out. And so that was another thing I needed, um, a shoe box for my flat surface. I also used a fork, as silly <laughs> as it looks and seems in the video. I use that just to like twist it, just to like start the spiral. Um, that's the way I did it with my friends in the past, and that's the only way I know how to do it, so that's the way I did it. And another thing you need is obviously the t-shirts. Any t-shirt or clothing item that you are choosing to dye, that's the main one right there, other than the dye itself. And you also need time and patience. <laughs> guys it's the next day I usually let mine sit overnight the directions for this kit said six to eight hours but I went for overnight partially because I'm lazy but yes so we're gonna rinse them out I rinse them out in the sink you usually want to go until the water no longer has any dye in it and then you will wash them separate from anything else online I read that you can wash them all together and now after I wash them separately I'm pretty sure you can wash them all together because obviously the dye has been like soaked into the t-shirts and you have washed the rest of the dye out so that is an option. washed the shirts as you saw and I also dried them on a light heat and now we will get into the final product reveal which I'm really excited about because they turned out really well okay guys here is the first one I think it actually turned out really good I wasn't super certain about this color combo when I first did it but I'm really happy with it I actually really like it which I'm surprised because I didn't expect to. This is uh, the color combination that is my favorite. I obviously 
love blue and specifically this blue because I got it's like the only thing that's like extremely saturated but I love this one as well this is like my favorite favorite type of tie-dye color combination I don't don't know why but just this color combination classic it's beautiful and then finally the long sleeve which I'm actually really excited about it's cool and I haven't decided if I'm going to crop a little bit off the bottom I'm not sure yet I haven't quite decided on that but yeah I'm super stoked with how all three turned out which is nice I can't believe it has taken me several months to do this I really like all three of them and it was fun and something to kind of break up the monotonous day with what's going on right now it's just a fun cheap activity that can bring a little bit of joy and like a little bit of childish fun which we could all use as we are in these times thank you guys for watching the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure to click the subscribe button down below i have a lot more content coming i'm really excited i've always wanted to start a youtube channel and now um i'm just taking the plunge this year because why not i'm really trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and find something creative and new that i enjoy and so far this has been so fun and if you want to continue to watch my content i would appreciate it with a subscribe i'll see you guys next time